Ag Tire Talks Driving Yield Through Tire Technology, sponsored by Michelin Agriculture. Don't forget to follow Ag Tire Talk on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and X. James Hester with Ag Tire Talk here. I'm with Dave Pock from BKT. Thank you for being on the program today. Thanks, James, for inviting me. Well, we're here to talk about an exciting tire, IF-1250 50R32. It's a BKT Agrimax RT600 R1. So correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, but this is a grain cart tire. Yes. Uh, it, the tire was designed for, uh, to go on grain carts, uh-huh. uh, and it carries a lot of weight. It's, two, it's got a 201 load index. Massive. <laughs> uh, it's also it's also a CFO uh uh, socket field, a socket field operation tire, so it carries a lot more weight at those speeds without having to change the air pressure. Perfect for those live loads that are like a grain cart, right, where it just goes from very minimal weight to very high weight very quickly. Yes. And just a reminder, correct me if I'm wrong, with the cyclic field operation piece, it can, it's built to handle that weight, and you don't have to adjust any air pressures. That's true. Yeah. What it, what it, you set your, you set your weight for for 30 miles an hour on the highway or 25 miles an hour, ever how fast you're pulling it. And you get added, you get added load bonuses as you go lower in speed. Amen. In the field at field yeah. speeds. Added load bonus without having to mess around with the air, air, air pressures. Yes. All right. So let's talk about a little detail. If it, this is an R1, correct? It is. Yeah. So BKT makes, BKT makes a, makes a good many R1Ws. Yeah, uh, but uh, there we do make a few R ones, and the RT six hundred is an R one. So the RT six hundred has more of a rounded shoulder on it okay. than like a terrace. Say a terrace, for instance, the terrace is more straight up and down. The RT six hundred has a rounded. So when you're turning, you're not tearing up the ground, tearing up dirt, tearing up grass, whatever you happen to be on. Um, it doesn't tear it up as bad. It, you, it, it's got a little bit better turning radius on it. In other words, so. Well, excellent, excellent. So one of the things that's unique about this tire relative to a lot of the other agricultural fitments, it's made for a three-piece wheel. This particular option for North America, DH44B, why don't you just give a small dissertation on why you chose the three-piece wheel? Okay. When we were designing, when we were designing this tire, um, most of the grain carts that we looked at, most of the wheels we looked at were all three-piece wheels Okay. at, at that point. And, uh, and and with a three piece wheel, it's you know it's fa- relatively easy to change on and off on a grain cart. You don't have to take everything off. You take the lock ring off on the outside, you pull the wheel off, put the wheel on, put everything back together, and put your lock ring back on. And you're not having to pull the hub off of it. In short, what you're saying is, if you've got a situation where you've got something down in the field, that three piece wheel makes it a lot easier to service than other options out there. It does. It, well, it makes it easier to pull the tire off for repair or replace or, you know, whatever you have to do. It does make it a lot easier. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So the load index is absolutely stunningly massive. Now we've uh, crescendoed the two mark, 201B it, it, plus steel belt. I don't know that there's anything else heavier out there. Give us a little dissertation on why such a high um, load index and where you see the markets going. Okay, because if if you look at the grain carts out there, you started with small grain carts, and now they keep getting larger and larger and larger. So I mean, there's humongous grain carts out there, and so the the weights they they started carrying more bushels of corn or beans or wheat or whatever. The weights got a lot heavier on them. So this tire, it, not only is it a wide tire for good flotation, it's an R1. So if you on hillsides, you don't have as much lateral slip because of the That's R1, right. because of the low void ratio. Um, so I, it was just kind of a good all around tire for the carrying for weight carrying capacity. It's an IF, it's a CFO. So it kind of it's kind of the full package of the tire. Awesome. One other feature I did notice. Could I ask you why you did it? You did produce this in steel belt. Yeah, so what the steel belt does, steel belt helps in a couple of things. Okay. It helps, uh, it get, it's, more, it's better puncture resistant. That doesn't, make, that, yeah, it doesn't make it bulletproof, but it is, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is better. Hey, <laughs> it, the, the steel belts help. The hey, steel man. belts also help the integrity of the tire. When you put steel belts on the casing of the tire, especially one this big and this wide, it holds the integrity of the tire together. Better. 
Yeah, it yeah. puts that footprint right where it needs to be. Nice big flat footprint. It gives it a big flat spans footprint. it out. Oh, yes. Fantastic. All right. Well, what an exciting offering. So let's just make sure I got it all. So we're talking about it. This is going on a three piece wheel, right? Yes. It's an R1 and it's got the steel belt feature. It's an IF offering with cyclic field operations, specially made for those live load applications, such as a grain cart. Did I get it all, Dave? Yes, you did. Yes. And that's a wrap.